Hey guys, um, I saved Hugo. Rudiger got in trouble. Uh, yeah, I'm not gonna actually take this mother. <laughs> I'm gonna take this dude because he's way stronger. So I couldn't take this guy with me earlier. He said he wasn't available or something. And then I did something in town, like I scrutinized someone and it said people are no now more um, likely to follow you. And this guy, so while one of you is talking about the chance of luring or not, um, and yes, Ophelia's supposed to just automatically get people to follow her, but some people won't until you do a thing in town. Like, you have to analyze somebody, I think. So I'm gonna take this guy along. He's super strong, so. All right, let's go tell that guy about his daddy. Oh, and you think it's a guide limit based on the level. So what I unlocked probably reduced the level requirement as well. In addition to her being a higher level now than when I started. Hey, dude. All right. I thought he was stripped of his cloak for a crime of, a crime of deserting in the midst of battle. Mm. I still can't believe my father fled from the field of battle. Wait a minute, I'm gonna read the rest of that. I was recently done, I was recently done the great honor of being appointed to the light, Knights Ardent. In fact, my late father, rest him, who is also a member, the strip of his cloak mm. for being a coward. All right, so we're gonna let him know the rumor. Whoa, where'd everybody go? You say you met with a companion of my father's? Hi. His fellow knights held him in high regard. There must be some mistake. He was trusted by his superiors and the men that serving alongside him to say nothing of the common folk. While he lived, my father would not speak with me for what had happened to strip him of his cloak. I even cursed him to his face, told him that he had brought shame upon the name of the Knights Ardent. I still remember how he stared at me, silent and unmoving, when I said such horrid things to him. How could I have not seen it, though? Of course there must have been some circumstances that forced his hand. The Knights Ardent are tasked with the sacred duty of protecting the pilgrims who huddle in the light of the sacred flame. I knew my father would not have abandoned them. I knew he must be the sort of man I always believed him to be. Thank you, good traveler. So, just some rumors about how he was a good guy, like, completely washed clean this suspicion of him deserting them? I have found a new purpose, the service of one of the Knights Ardent. I will travel this realm in service to duty. I shall not, I shall see if I can retrace my father's steps and find the truth. Oh, okay, it's the beginning of, like, we're gonna find out the truth, eventually. Perhaps we will meet again yet, until we do, friend. Goodbye! Da -da 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 floats into the sky. And he gave me some money and a nourishing nut. Let me see these nuts. Let me see what I got here. Where's my nuts? So resistant nut gives you elemental defense, and these are permanent increases to your character. Kind of like capsules from, I think, Final Fantasy uses capsules. Um, except for this nut. This is, just, this is an actual restorative. So this is not a nut, technically. The ones with the icon nuts are nuts. In the way that this, I don't know, fuck it. Maximum HP, I probably want to use that on, like, uh, a tank character. An increasing physical attack, I also want to use on, a, obviously, a physical attacking character. The Tough Nut increases physical defense, which, again, all of these I kind of want to give to... I'll give this to Cyrus. But the rest I think I'm going to save for a tanky character, like maybe, what's his name from down south? I don't know who I'll give the elemental defense to.
Oh yeah, there should be new stuff in here now. Mirage Blade occasionally confuses a target. 108 and, uh, and 50. Well, the heavy blade I have is like 80 and 50, so it's pretty close, except it doesn't confuse the target. Meanwhile, we got Killer Bow, which isn't as good as the current heavy bow that I have on Tressa, so I don't need that. How about the Stone Rod versus, okay, I don't, that, that's nothing. In that. Sturdy Vest would be, reduces evasion though. I like the high evasion I have on Tressa and on Cyrus, so, oh, this would actually increase Oh, this is good for Cyrus. I'll buy this. Let's explore the tavern here because I'm not sure I've talked to everybody. Magnificent, okay. And I have analyzed them, I don't know what. Just some dude. I've analyzed this guy too. He's a proud soldier. Oh, and he gets drunk. A lot. To drown his sorrows. What's this guy? Diligent student, it's no good. I simply can't see the way of it. That's it, it's all over now. My research is done with. I'm finished. Of all my research now, it suggests that the Jotun should reside somewhere in this land. Hey, I have the research. But I cannot find the proof. If only there was some proof. Wait, I have it. Huh? Oh, I need to go to the grove to get proof. Why don't these two guys who are obsessed with the Jotun kind of hang out? But it's the most fascinating tale, once you begin delving into the details, the nomenclature, for example, you see that the Jotun are commonly known as ice giants in this part because, ah, oh dear me, there I go again with the ramblings of an old man. I'm just gonna... Maybe if I lead the guy in here, out here, to that guy. No, you can't lead either of them to each other. So I guess I'm just gonna have to go to the grotto, wherever that might be, to find the ice giant myself. Yeah, that seems to be what it is, Ace Fangirl. Hi, Lisa. Hi. <laughs> You gonna lay down with me? Mm, cozy kitty. I analyzed her, it was hard, but it showed me like a hidden item somewhere. <laughs> Same with this guy. <laughs> Hi! Oh, she's actually pretty strong too. Not as strong as the other guy though. Oh, have I talked to you? I haven't talked to this girl or even met her yet. Shivering townsperson, God's teeth. But is it, but it, is it cold? God's teeth, but is it cold? I don't, that's a weird sentence. I don't like the cold, not one bit. Especially my poor feet. Oh, they get it the worst. Chilled to the bone they are. I buy rugs when I have spare coin, but they wear through so quickly. Why can't they be made of stronger cloth? It's a weird side quest. All right, let's scrutinize her feet first. Oh. Mm hmm they are cold feet, I can see that. But it's just an analogy or a metaphor. A young woman of plain grace, ever since she was a child, she has struggled to endure the cold, and it is at a loss that how she might free herself from the bitter, its bitter embrace. Yeah, Hmm. 
Hmm. Let me see in the journal. Hi. It's not a quest. Yeah, like, I'm wondering if I should just take her somewhere warm. I'm gonna lead this girl with me. It's weird that it didn't create a quest. Panic Arrow is her. Alright, so I think I've thoroughly explored this town. The remaining qu side quests are... The Jotun, that's it. The Jotun, I need to find my way to the grotto, which I'm not sure where that is yet. I don't know if I've found it, but... You know, um, until then, let's just... Uh, I never dreamed how terrible it would be to be imprisoned for something I didn't do. I'm thinking of starting a new line of work, in fact. I will work to search out the witness of crimes to help find proof for those who are truly innocent. Oh, he's gonna become Phoenix Wright. His name is still accused man, though. Poor guy. Hey. You cuddly little kitty. Hi. You want a blanket? You're cute. I'll grab that healing grape. It's pretty cheap, actually, I think. Just between you and me, I gave you a little extra as thanks. <laughs> yeah, I feel like that was a good bargain, that grape. She's cold, so I'm gonna turn down the air conditioning a little bit. Kitties like it to be toasty. Everyone knows it. Sad. Konnichiwa. Konnichiwa. <laughs> Fucking love that guy. All right, so I guess um, let's make our way to the next character, which I think I'm just gonna go in order. I'm just gonna head over to Hannet. What is Hannet? I guess we'll find out in a second. Is that a, what, what, what's her class? Atlas Dam, Flames Grace. Western Flames Grace, Wilds of Swak Key. Huntress. Oh, that'll be good. We need a fighter. Our team doesn't have a physical fighter yet. Besides, I mean, the merchant kind of does it. Free treasure. Wow, that was a shitty treasure. Uh... <gasps> Guys. Shit. How long until it... Oh, it's gonna be, it, it's turn is next, so I have to defeat it in one shot. Guys, um, do you have any tips? Should I just use a... Can I put it to sleep? Maybe I'll use a soul stone? Can it run if you break it? If you break its, um... I can't do it in one turn. It'll, it, as soon as its turn is up next, after this, after my merchant, it's gonna run right now. 
I'm going to do a soul stone. I'm going to do the most powerful one I have. What do you, do you guys know what it's vulnerable to? It doesn't matter if it acts in the same turn. Guys, look, it's, it's, you can see its icon is next. It's gonna run right after my merchant is done doing her thing. Yeah, Google which it's most. I'm gonna guess Shadow would work the best. You think it's all weapons? All right, well, I wanna hurt it as hard as I can, so um, I'm just gonna use a soul stone. I hope this kills it. Also, can you steal from it? Let me just see something. Oh, hired help is her ability. Oh yeah, I see what you mean. Maybe I should hire help then. How much? A $10,000 cleric, do you think that would do it? So I guess the, if sword, dagger, axe, and staff are all its weaknesses, then if I hit it twice with a staff and break it, will it be able to run while it's break, broken? It won't run while it's broken. All right, so maybe I should just do that right away. Okay. Just don't miss. If I miss, then I'm, I lose him. And he probably has high evasion. Maybe it's safer just to use the soul stone and do just as much damage as I can. Because I think that it's easy to miss this guy. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna use the soul stone. Shadow, here we go. Oh, he has like, only 11 damage killed him. That was a lot of leveling up. <laughs> that was insane. <laughs> that was ridiculous. Um, not too much money. It was only like 3,000, which is basically like not even the price of the soul stone I used, but. Um, All three of my characters' next uh, unlock of their skill is in um, 3,000 JP. None of them are really that close yet. Trust is halfway there. Um, so off show, I did level up a little bit, and so I unlocked uh, Ophelia's ability to Luminescence, Shattering Veil, Augmenta defenses for two turns, Elemental defenses, Holy Light, light base damage to a single foe, Luminescence to all foes, Heal Wounds, obviously we already had that. I also got Revive, Revive all incapacitated allies. Heal More is what I don't have currently. Reflective Veil gives the ability to reflect one attack. I don't know what the question mark is, this is probably something to do with like Maybe it's a level unlock or something like that. I don't know, or maybe it's a story-based unlock. Um, but the uh, support skills that I have for her now are Persistence, which all status enhancements you receive will last for an additional turn. Inner Strength, uh, 
increases the maximum SP of the equipped character by 50. And Evil Ward increases the party's success rate when attempting to flee. So if I need to flee, you know, I, I might be actually able to. Also, I have a thing that prevents our party from being surprised. And Hang Tough, which says that if the user's HP would below, drop below zero, it would leave the user with one HP instead. So she has one extra chance at life. If she gets attacked by a super strong baddie. Question mark, question mark, question mark. Unlocks after you get all the skills. Okay, good to know. So I'm wondering if this girl will, that's following us right now will be happy if we go to the desert or something. That's my wondering. I'm just wondering if she'll like, it'll make her be like, oh, this is nice. <laughs> I think I'll stay here now. All weak to fire, so I guess I'll just go ahead and wipe them out right now. Ooh, that guy survived. Shit. There you go. Um, Ace Fangirl, just tell me uh, whether it's um, if you can do anything about her, or if it's just flavor and I'm wasting my time. You don't need to bring it with you, okay. Good to know, I'm just wasting my time with that. So can you do anything about her needing warmth? Do you just bring her a rug? I guess I'm just asking for the, like, I guess, yeah. <gasps> oh, it's the grotto. I found the grotto. Danger level 25. Yeah, I guess I'm underpowered for that. We got level 21, 20, and 18. Mm, let's just, mm, yeah, I'm gonna get out of here. <laughs> I'll come back when I'm a little bit more leveled up. Hi, Lisa. She just purred at me. Do you want under my sweater? That'd be crazy. Do you want in here? Okay, you're leaving? Okay. If you want, what are you gonna do down there? Donate BP is so awesome because it lets your wizard be super overpowered on the first turn. Come back up. This is a cozy place too. Yeah. Come on up. 
All right. Here, look under here. You can go under there if you want. seems pretty cozy with this. Pretty happy. I thought she'd reject it. Like I've discovered a new thing that Lisa likes. I didn't even know. I already knew that like when she wants to cuddle, she likes having her face covered. Like she likes it when you put your hand over her face. <laughs> She's purring so hard. Ooh, slippery nut. I like giving slippery nuts to my merchant girl because she has high evasion. Although, so does Cyrus. I'm gonna give it to Cyrus. button undone so it may be Are these flying squirrels that I'm fighting? I'm not sure what he says at the end of battle when he does the finishing blow. He says jugyo wa, which is like lecture, a jugyo. Um, so he must say like this lecture is over or this lecture is completed. But I don't know the last word he says, but I'm just assuming it's the word for completed. just been schooled as my headcanon? Yeah, that's pretty much what he's saying in so many words. I'm passing the village. Um, yeah, I'll check the map. Holy shit. Hmm. 
So she says, I hear that the cleric there, she says, Ikimasho, which is like, let's go. Lisa is super cozy right now. She's purring so much. Hmm. I'm coming along okay with my Japanese. It's a slow process. I don't study as much as I'd like because um, we're always so busy. But you gotta find the time. Is Swarki, home to the clan of huntsmen that has lived in Darkwood since times of yore. Alright, I'm gonna go straight to the character. There she is, the huntress. I understand it not. For what reason wouldst a beast come to our woods? Such a beast. Doth his herald some greater ill that come our way? Doth this herald some greater ill? Her name is Hani. She is a hunter, one of the last descendants of her proud and ancient clan. She makes her home here in Swarki, deep in the darkwood. The seasoned huntress roams the forest with Lind, her fast friend, though her mind often turns to her master, who left the village one year ago on a dangerous hunt from which he has yet to return. All right, guys, I'm going to segment this, and I'll come back with uh, Hanit's story.